Hey kids, welcome to a lesson 10, building an app, Color Sleuth, a number six. Next, display which button was chosen in the console. In the game, the correct button is the one we randomly choose to make a different color. Let's add a console.log message to display its ID. It'll make it easier in our future work. Well, we took this challenge way back in the second lesson, so we've done almost all this lesson already. But if you haven't, we're going to add the language to it, and you'll see where we're at. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a console.log message, a like console.log, correct one is, and then our random button ID at the end of set forward function. Overall, the set forward function should look like this. And then we have our code and our console.log message. Well, if we go down and look at my code, we already had that here. Let's just comment this out. This is my display so we know what we're looking for and what it wants us to do is add a little text to it so we're going to put some parentheses up correct one is and then don't forget to add your space because we want it to display just like that we do a random button and then our semicolon and that's it so since we took this one on earlier we already had it done but if you didn't we are just adding a console.log message to the bottom of our code. Let's run and see if our new text comes up. Run. The correct one is button two and, well, I guess it is button two. Reset run. Correct one is a button one. So it looks like it is displaying perfect. Well, looking back up here, we added our console.log message like this, and it is within our setboard function. Let's see if code.org wants anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.